People from Siksika Nation in southern Alberta say it's getting windier. Living in a valley, you can get those extreme winds, especially when it's coming down a hill. And we have a lot of roads that are going up hills and down hills. They're seeing the impact of climate change on the landscape. It never used to get this windy. And a few years ago, we had a windstorm that took the rooftops off of some houses on the east end. Now the community is turning to a century-old farming practice to combat this new challenge. Soon this bare prairie landscape will include rows of trees, otherwise known as shelter belts. The plants serve as natural wind barriers, shielding homes, livestock and people from bitter prairie winds. Shelter belts aren't new to Alberta. In 1903, the federal government launched a national shelter belt program as part of its bid to attract farmers to the prairies. A landowner can just ask for some free trees and they would come back and plant them and they would really um, increase that kind of land cover. Over a billion seedlings were handed out before the program ended in 2013. Even though the program didn't explicitly exclude First Nations, a technicality prevented farmers living on reserve from receiving free trees. Because they didn't own it the same way, you couldn't say, this is my uh, township and range and my address, please send the trees to this area, and then you'd go to town and pick them up and plant them on your land. Now, more than 100 years after the program started, that's something that Siksika is changing. The First Nation is planting rows and rows of trees with the help of Edmonton-based nonprofit Project Forest. Together, they decided on 14 species of trees that will survive the area's conditions. We picked to plant hundreds of thousands of Okanese poplar at our Siksika Nation Community Shelter Belt Project because of all the poplars out there, this performs the best in full sunlight, lots of heat, and limited amounts of moisture. But the reality is, not all the trees planted will take root. Sitsika has tried to grow trees before, and sometimes not super successfully, because it's a very challenging climate. Next year, these seedlings will be planted in Siksika Nation. Right now, they're small, but in about 10 years, they could look as big as the shelter belts at the University of Saskatchewan School of Agriculture. This is a nice long shelter belt, a double rows of Siberian elm, a tree species that they brought from Europe that came over and fit well into this prairie climate. And match the increasingly hot and dry conditions climate change is bringing to the prairies. In addition to blocking wind, they trap snowdrift, hydrating soil during the spring melt when crops are beginning to sprout. It's the drier weather that we're seeing too in the summer and the spring, you know, the early melt off the less rain, it's impacting our grounds. Once the trees are planted, Siksika plans to incorporate edible plants like Saskatoon berries, raspberries, and medicinal plants that have disappeared from the area. Our relationship with all living beings is as equals. So to see them coming back, it's like they're coming back home, is what one elder said. He said in Blackfoot, they're coming back home. Stephanie Cram, CBC News, Siksika Nation.